This is yet another episode of Modifications for the Keen Dry Washer. There are a great many design flaws, in my opinion, when it's being sold. Such as... <clears throat> This gear swaying back and forth when the device is running. And this one does it also. We have a set screw. We have a little tiny space here. There is no spacer in there. There needs to be a spacer so that when this is moved all the way to the end, which I need to move, and then tighten the bloody shit on it, the larger wheel has to line up straight with the bottom one. And to prevent the big wheel from moving back and forth, it needs a spacer in here. I have no idea why it did not come with one. Also, the set screw here, there's no flat ground onto the metal um, rod here for that set screw. So it needs to have a flat ground on there and then a spacer put in the between here and here. So that the top <clears throat> doesn't move back and forth. Eventually, when it is running, this will ground against the mounting plate here. And also ground against the bolt head there. The bad. Very bad. And personally, I would not have used set screws here at all. I would have pinned it. Anyhow, that is the next modification. Okay, I have added a nut there. I, if I had a machine shop, I would make a real spacer there. And I have a drive pulley flush with that. Now we will do the top. Okay. To measure the distance here, I tightened the mounting bracket so we don't get any screwed up. This two bolts tighten, and I want to get the distance from the outside to the outside. And then bring that up here. And then subtract the width of this. Okay, that's the number of washers I need. Now I'm going to take the Dremel tool and make a flat with a set screw. Okay! It didn't take much. And put it back to... Okay. By the way, this is wrong also. That will have to be modified. It's not the way to do it. There's better ways to do that.